Welcome to Microsoft Access Developer Level 7, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. Today's class is going to cover entering partial payments for the invoices in our order entry system. So far to date, we have a system where you can either mark an invoice paid or not paid, but what happens if you've got a $5,000 order and the customer wants to pay you know, $200 now, $500 later, we need a way to track that. So that's the one major topic for today's class, and we're going to cover a whole bunch of different VBA and some other scenarios and some, and some tips and tricks and some things that go along with that. So even though you might not be doing partial payments in your database, all of the stuff I'm going to show you, remember, access is like playing with Legos. It's just learning the different pieces, and they all can be put together in a different way. Prerequisite, of course, you should have taken Access Developer Level 6, and of course, all of my beginner and expert, and preferably the advanced series classes as well. For those of you who've never taken my classes before, they're broken down into the beginner, expert, advanced, and developer series, and this is developer level eight. The sample databases for my courses can be found here at this address, 599cd.com slash databases. I do strongly recommend you build the database with me in class from the beginning, but if you haven't, if you jumped in the middle somewhere, you can download my copy of the database here. Everything that I cover in today's class should be fine in Microsoft Access 2007 and beyond. And I'm thinking about it, and it probably will still work even in 2003 and the older versions. All the VBA really hasn't changed much. And yes, I know that uh, Access is going to be coming out with 2019 pretty soon. Uh, I've been looking over the review notes, and I don't think too much is going to change from 2016 to 2019. But of course, check my website if you're watching this class in the future, and, um, and you want to know if there's any, any changes check the website and I'll post some notes on the class page. All right, so let's take an in-depth look at what we're covering in today's class. In lesson one, we're going to start working on partial payments. Right now, our invoices can be either paid or unpaid. Well, sometimes customers might pay a part of an invoice. So we want to be able to track the entire history of all the payments on a particular invoice. So we're going to build a payment form. We're going to build fields on our main order form so we can see the total payments made and the amount due. In lesson two, we're continuing with partial payments. We're going to learn about VB exclamation and some different little icons you can put on your message boxes. We're going to handle situations if the order is paid or if it's a quotation. We won't let the user put payments on it. And we're going to add the payments information, including payment maids and amount due, on the printable invoice. In lesson three, we're continuing with partial payments. We're going to see how we can make the uh, payments made and the amount due not show up if it's a quotation. And we're going to see how we can get a field that's only on the parent report into the sub-report. 